All right, now track changes becomes a very important uh, uh, tool in uh, Microsoft Word. It's available in Microsoft PowerPoint as well. And uh, it's, I've seen it uh, to be a little underutilized. A lot of people did not know earlier, but now I see it being very, very frequently used. So basically the problem that happens is uh, that uh, say for example, if I am sending a file to a colleague of mine, my team member, and I want to, I have asked him to make a certain number of changes and revert back to me with the same file. And you know what I notice is that the, I have to go through the entire document in order to check what changes he has made, what deleting additions, uh, changes, formatting changes he has, he or she has made. And that becomes a big task. I just want to see whatever changes have been made or not. And I might want to accept a few changes. It is my file. I, I might want to accept a few changes, reject a few changes that has come from the other uh, person. So there are three files over here if you see the folder track changes. One is basically I've just given you a little bit of details over here as to what track changes is all about. So you can go through them at any point of time, you know, when you feel uh, you've forgotten about how to use the track changes, although it's very, very simple. Now, I have been given, I've just given you a random file over here called management accounting. I've just copy pasted data from somewhere and I've just given you a random file. Now, suppose this is a file that I have created and I will be giving this file to a colleague of mine in order to make some editing and all. Now, in the review tab, there is an option, there is a tracking portion. There is in the review tab, if you see on the ribbon, you have the tracking portion, which has all the track changes tool. Now, in the track changes option, there are two options over here. One is track changes and one is lock tracking. Over here, you see there is a drop down with simple markup, all markup, no markup, original, etc. And there is about showing a markup and a review pane over here. So these are the options that we need to understand. It's not going to be that difficult. All you need to do is say, for example, you either click on track changes here or you click on the drop down and click on track changes. The moment you click on track changes, this, this particular button is highlighted. It has been frozen. If you want to switch off the track changes, you again click and the track changes button is it's deactivated. So you click on track changes, uh, it is activated. You click again and it is deactivated. I'll tell you quite a few things. Just observe on my screen for the time being. So I'll click on track changes, say for example, and I'll save the file and I'll forward it to my colleague, right? So I've clicked on track changes, I've saved the file and I forward it to someone else. Now what happens is, uh, I'm going to change, we all face, we all face a fundamental economic problem, let's say, and I am going to be deleting this word economic, I think it is wrong, delete, uh, sorry, problem is going to be the same. So over here, what happens is the username that is Ashwini Bajaj, the username of my computer. So whatever, if you've not given a username to your computer, if the user is not defined on your computer, it will just show either an HP uh, user or a Dell user or something like that. And otherwise, a uh, uh, the name is going to come in. And a few seconds ago, like say, for example, if, if you open the file after a few days and today's date will be given over here that on so and so date, this guy made so and so changes. What is the changes? economic underscore p uh, uh, space p has been deleted and this p is highlighted in red because i actually by mistake deleted the problem the p of the problem also and i again typed a p so let's say we all face the economic problem fundamental and a crucial problem so anything that i'm typing over here anything that i type over here is coming in is coming in this way it's highlighted and what is deleted has been mentioned over there. Let's say over here, I'll delete this entire paragraph, let's say. So this one is going to be delete. So the entire paragraph deleted is being shown over here. Now over here, let me highlight it. Let me make this bold. So over here, if you notice a few font bold, so that is a change that has been made. Over here, let's say, let me highlight it, yellow and red. Over here, you would see formatting highlight. So this has been new over here. Say for example, let me also check if I can insert an image. Enter, enter. See, there is a bar coming in over here. Insert, let's say a picture. Um, how to be productive. So I'm just putting in over here. So this part is entirely new. So there is a line over here if you notice. I'll just make a couple of more and then we'll move forward. All right, 
And now what happens is, so basically if you notice all the comments, I'll just make the file a little shorter, uh, uh, the size a little smaller. So you would see that all the changes that have been made in the file, they're all being shown as comments on this side. Now I can save this file, send it to another colleague of mine. She or he might be making a lot of changes with his username. The changes he or she has made will also get saved. And then it goes to a third person, then a fourth person, and then it come back, uh, comes back to me. And you will see that all the changes that anybody and everybody has made is being shown on the comment side. Now let me just show one more thing. So in the review tab, suppose I switch off the track changes. This is no longer highlighted anymore. And now let me make a deleting change. Let me do some typing. You see there is no comments being added. So only if the track changes is switched on and then I'm making comments, things are going to get highlighted or the deletion or any kind of formatting change is going to be shown on the right side. So that is what a track changes, switching on and switching off the track changes tells you. Just in case you've switched on the track changes, you've made a few changes over here, but still you're probably not being able to view this on the right side. All you need to do is over here, if I do a simple markup, it's just showing the arrows. In this option, if I choose all markup, then everything is being shown. If I choose the option, no markup, then nothing is being shown. And please be careful over here, everybody on my screen. Now you see I've typed some nonsense over here. I've typed some nonsense over here. If I select original, all that goes away and the original document comes in. And the original document comes in. Now you would be telling me that why is this coming in? Because this, I had switched off the track changes and done a few changes also to show it to you. But you see fundamental economic and crucial is gone. Problem I had uh, deleted, done something, it's all there. It's fundamental economic problem, not the fundamental and crucial economic problem. This change is still available over here because I had made this without the track changes. I was trying to show you that see if I switch off the track changes and make some changes, then it uh, uh, does not show up. So you try all these four options also good that we are seeing this part. So you have simple markup, you have all the markups being shown, you have no markups being shown and you can revert back to the original document. In the original document, all the changes made while the track changes were switched on is going to go away. So when you switched on the track changes and then whatever changes you've made, that is going to disappear if you use the original option. So you can go to original, simple markup, all markup, no markup, you can go for any of the options. And in the show markup option also, you can, you may want the comments, just a second. You may want the comments, you may not, <coughs> insertion deletion, insertion deletion. You may want to see the comments, you may not want to see the comments. You may want to see the formatting changes, I don't want to look at the formatting changes. Show revisions, show all revisions in line. You see the revisions are being shown. So anything that is being deleted, it's not being shown in the comment part. It's being shown over here that see this is deleted, see this is added, see this is deleted, see this one is new, see this change has happened, the highlighting has happened, see this image has been inserted. So you might want to see the markup, you might want to see the markup in line, show all comments and formatting in balloons. So you want to see everything separately over here. So that is that. And specific people, since I have, I'm the only one who's made changes in this document, so therefore it's showing over here. Otherwise, if five people have made changes in the have made changes in this document, you can select any of the people if you want to see the reviews of a particular person. In the track changes option, there is a track changes option and there is a lock tracking option. On my screen, please, everybody. Now, lock tracking becomes another very important tool. It does the same job. Basically, when I click on lock tracking, I need to enter a password. Now what happens is, suppose I've switched on the track mode, I've switched on, I've switched on the track changes <coughs> mode, saved the file and given it to you. Now you want to outsmart your boss or colleague or whoever it is, you will switch off the track mode, you will do all the changes and you'll give back the file. Now the person will not be able to see what kind of changes you've made. You have misquoted some figure, you've tried to, you know, uh, um, cover up some nonsense that you've done. And you switch off the track changes, make those couple of changes which you don't want your boss to see. And then you switch on the track changes again and give back the file to him. Now what happens is in lock tray, in track changes, there is an option to add a password. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a password, let's say, let's say I'm going to use the password training. And re-enter to confirm training and OK. Now what happens is, now I cannot switch off the track changes until and unless someone removes the lock tracking. 
So if now I send the file to someone, let's say I'll again delete something, delete. If you notice, I can, if you cannot see the comments, that's because show revisions in balloons, delete, uh, add. So now if you see, I cannot remove the track changes. So after log tracking, entering the password, now if I send you the file, you have no option to remove the track changes option. Whatever changes, whatever editing you will do on the file, I will get exactly the same thing back with all the tracks, all the changes being tracked. If you want to remove lock tracking, you have to go lock tracking and you have to re-enter the password. Only then will it get back to normal. So I would use a password in order to lock the track mode and then give you the file so that you are not in a position to switch off the track changes option. That is what lock tracking does.